Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whatever time it is for you. I'm Cyclone. It's time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. Let's go ahead and take our first look at the Class 648. We're going to save the tour for another time because, uh, again, it is the feature train in a different route, so we'll look it over at that time. For right now, we're just going to go ahead and try and drive this thing. We got a five-star scenario, or a level five scenario coming up here. I guess it's considered four in the coding because zero represents the lowest level, but I will see it as a five, so that's what we're going to call it. Five Level five scenario. Uh, this is apparently one of the two hardest scenarios in the pack. Uh, I do like how the difficulty ranges from uh, the, the 612 series. You have one, or you have a two, then a three, then a four, then a five, all in that order. But yet for the other ones, it goes five, three, two. Did anyone notice that? I thought that was kind of humorous. But in any case, it is the level five difficulty, second scenario that we're going to be doing today. Let's get started. Our first look at the class 648. Here we go. Good morning, driver. Please set up your train and allow passengers to board here at Nuremberg HBF ahead of our departure time of 10.08. We are not expecting any trouble today and we'll be calling at all stations to Newhouse where this train terminates. Oh, that's a little different. We're going to stop at all stations. Cool. Let's uh, open the doors. I presume we need to open the doors. Yes, we need to open the doors. So that is our first stop. And how many stops is this train? Oh, brother. Well, it's going to be fun. Uh, let's see what we can do here. So we're going to bring up the HUD. That is now forward. I'm going to leave the brakes on for now. We need headlights. There they are. That'll work. And, um, wipers. Now it seems to be an on toggle and then a slow toggle, which should be good. Oh, no, it just goes off. Okay, so that's what we have. What's the train up ahead? Ah, an RE32. What is our service today? Let's take a look at our train. We are an RE30, just like the other one, except we're in a different train today. In any case, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our train as we get ready to depart. There's not much else to talk about as we get ready for our 10.08 departure. So let's uh, wait for our train to be permitted to leave. leaving Nuremberg HBF. Our first stop today is Nuremberg OST. Getting this train up to speed leaving Nuremberg HBF is a bit of a challenge. You seem to be limited in uh, how you can apply throttle for the first five levels. After you move to level six and uh, get beyond a certain speed, you seem to have the ability to gain speed at whatever level you want then, which is very interesting. Because watch if I move this to level six now, it's gonna start moving up quite a bit. I'm going to start pulling it back to level 3 now. And you're going to notice I'm still getting speed even at 2 and 1. So I need to bring this thing down. It seems to be that there is some kind of um, way that this speeds up based on a power level or some of some sort. Just like the other train. But I haven't figured it out yet. So this is a train that we're going to have to learn a little bit about. For now I'm kind of winging it today and seeing if I can do the hardest level scenario uh, like this. Uh, we're in an 80 right now but I... We are still very much in the platform range, and we just hit a 40. So, yeah, good thing we didn't speed up yet. We do have all green straight ahead, though. I think it is 80 out of here. So let's find out as we get ready to move up to... Yep, 80. We're going to go for it. And the 90 is further ahead. And, oh, wow, this thing gains speed in a darn hurry, doesn't it? Wow. Wow. Seventy seems to be the hold point for level two throttle. That's good to know. Wow, this is a uh, challenge to maintain speed. I will say that. The good news is we are stopping at every single platform, so that means that uh, whatever we're doing, we're going to be stopping anyway. So we don't even have to worry about getting to top speed too much because the stations are fairly close together. Slight amount of lag there. So, um, yeah, my computer does not handle it perfectly, as you can see. That's fine. We can deal with that. 
So we're going to be entering the 90, which I'm going to be able to get to very, very briefly. And then we're going to figure out how the brakes work on this thing. Here we go to 90. So it looks like moving to the previous thrall level is a good way to check it and make sure you don't speed up too much. In fact, 85 is the limit on level 3, it looks like. So that is good information. So we know 70 and 85, and I missed the lower one. I want to say it was 60 or something around that range. I'm going to bring it down to idle now anyway. I said idle. Okay, that is zero, I guess. When you're at zero, I guess idle is zero. We're going to start hitting the brakes here. That's a good break. That is a decent break. 31%. I did not expect that brake level very quickly. Be very careful applying this. You can get emergency brake level in a hurry if you hold it down for a little bit. Still about a minute, minute and a half or so to make our stop here. So I don't want to come in too slow, but also not too fast. Our departure time is still our departure time. I need to bring a little break on this time. I'm worried about wheel slip in the rain, as you can imagine. I did not want that. I'm going to calculate whether this is going to be a problem. I'll be right back with you. Anyway, arrival at Nuremberg OST. Leaving Nuremberg OST. Our next stop today is Nuremberg Erlenstegen. You can see the signal up ahead is not related to us. That red is somewhere else on a different platform, so that's fine. We're going to go ahead and continue up to speed, which is... I have to remember we have to go to level 6 if we want to get ourselves up to any kind of reasonable speed in a hurry. Once we pass a certain point, we can cut it back to a lower level to give us a limit that we're going to be shooting towards. 110 in this case is our limit, so I think we can move up. Well, we're not going to go too fast. We're going to stop it at uh, level 275 for right now. Sorry, 70, because we do have a stop up ahead. We do have about um, a minute to make this stop, so I could move it up a little bit more and break from there, but uh, that's more brake power that we're going to need, so we're going to go with this. We're going to cover this in a minute anyway. I also came to the conclusion that I think I'm okay for, even with those penalty points, I think I'm still okay. Why am I doing that? Don't do that. Okay, let's leave it on idle. I think I'm still okay with those penalty... Come on. I think I'm still okay with those penalty points anyway. If I can get this thing to work. Okay. I think I'm okay with those penalty points anyway because I think I'm going to have enough points. 1,005, I believe, is the amount of points I have to work with. So I'm going to work with those three penalty points as long as I don't get any more. That said, I need to put a lot of brakes on right now without going into emergency brake status. And I need to literally stop right now. So let's get this train into the platform. Get it stopped, please. Wow, these brakes are finicky, aren't they? Wow, get the doors open, please. Thank you very much. Arrival at Nuremberg, Erlenstegen. This is going to be interesting, guys.
leaving Nuremberg Erlenstegen. Our next stop is Beringsendorf. Beringersdorf, sorry. So we have about four kilometers to go to that station. We are going to be allowing ourselves to get up to a reasonable amount of speed at this time. So I'm going to let the throttle work its way up here. I know 75 is our level 3 limit. I think I'm going to want to work on a level 5 limit at this time. Let's see what that does. 140 is now our speed limit, actually. We can bring this thing up to a higher speed. I want to know what our level 5 limit is, though, so I'm still going to go ahead and set that for a moment. And we're crossing up to 110, 115. That's our limit on level 5. Okay, on to level 6. We're past 125. We're holding at 126. 127. It is going up slowly at this time. Our stop's right there. I could push it to 140, but at these um, speeds, the uh, little difference is... While that is a little bit more than 10 kilometers, it is still negligible in nature, so I'm probably not going to worry about it too much. I think we can make this stop very reasonably on time, so we're going to continue as is. What I will do now, though, is bring the train down to an idle setting. I said an idle setting. That works. Zero. I have to remember zero is idle. We're going to go ahead and start braking now at a heavy, heavy brake application. Will I get these brakes down in time is the question. Eighty percent brakes. Can we get this down? I think we can. There's the, um, some kind of platform, but it looks like it's not used. There's something in front of it. I used off the brakes for a moment so you could pull on the platform a little more, but now I'm just letting the train slow down. 70% brakes I can leave applied at this time, and I think we're going to be good. Can I bring it off now a little bit as we get to further to the end of the platform? and reapplying it as we get closer. I'm just controlling how much brake we apply at what time. And this is perfect, not bad. That's our stop at Beringsendorf, Beringersdorf, and uh, stopping at platform number one today. Leaving Beringersdorf, our next stop is Ruckersdorf. I did not mean for the train to come to a pause in its acceleration there, but it did. Uh, I see something up ahead. Is that a train? No, it might just be a uh, yellow signal of some sort. We'll find out. Maybe it's just something in the distance I can't identify. Anyway, I've gone up to level 6 throttle. By the way, the number of levels is 8. There are 8 levels on this throttle. We're not going to be using the highest levels to say the very least, especially because we have a 60 up ahead. Let's um, keep that in mind. Since we're being sufficiently warned of this, I'm going to go ahead and just leave our throttle where it is, because we could, in theory, go um, at this speed and be okay for our timing anyway. In theory. I'm a little bit over right now, which is actually going to help. And this is going to give me a chance to test the brake on this end, on this uh, combined throttle anyway, which didn't want to work very well. But it does work in some aspect. There it goes. So that's good for minimal uh, adjustments here. 
like going down to 60 without ha without applying a full break. And we're going to go ahead and bring that back up to an idle setting. We're going to try to maintain that. So that can be useful when you're going down a hill just to apply a very small break application. Very, very useful for that kind of purpose, I would say. We're going to continue to have 60 at the next signal. So it's 60 right now. We're going to continue to have a 60. And we're obviously going to be taking some kind of a junction because this line on the initial run was not a 60. So we're taking some junction somewhere to get to platform number 11. This is a large station. So platform number 11 is where we're going today. Here's our 60 junction. So I'm going to start applying some brakes now. This is a good idea, I think. This feels closer than it should be, but I think we're good. You can see the next station up ahead already, by the way. Okay, taking the brakes off a little bit. Keeping them partially applied so we continue to slow down. Then I'm going to go ahead and crank it up for a full stop. This is a small platform, so we want to try to narrow this one inside the gap here. And this is the gap. Arrival at Ruckersdorf, platform number 11. Leaving Ruckersdorf, our next stop is one I'm having a harder time saying. I believe it's Ludwigshoch. Two H's in there is something I'm not used to. We're going to go ahead and make sure we don't gain too much speed here. Because that is a 40 signal. So we can gain a little bit more here, but we want to stay within 40. That'll do nicely. Thank you very much. Nope, that'll do. So we only have about one and a quarter kilometers remaining now that we've left the station and we've gotten a little ways beyond. So we're not going to get up to a full speed, I don't believe. We do want to try to maintain 40 as much as we can, though. So I'm going to get up to the 39 and a half area and then cut it off. And we seem to be stuck inside this... Um... There's the 140. Okay, we don't want to get too much speed, though, because we have two full minutes to do this. And we're only a kilometer away, so we can go ahead and put on a little bit of speed, but we're not going to go all the way up to the 140. There's no way we're going to get to 140. So 60 is sufficient for our purposes. We're going to leave it right there. I'm surprised we were given this much time for this stop, to be honest with you. But I'm not going to complain. It's a good catch-up point for people who fall behind and insist on doing everything in one run. So it is a good catch-up point. Even if you are on time but running slightly late where you still get the full score or you still get recognized for it, in the case of a timetable scenario, it's still good to have the catch-up point to just stop and relax for a minute. So I'm just putting a small break application on, as you can see. This is a larger platform, so I don't have to um, eyeball it so much here. So we're just kind of cruising in right now, going to where the platform end is located. Because why not? We could theoretically go just a little further, and I'm kind of trying to get away with that. And we're going to stop right here. Arrival at Ludwig's Hole.
leaving Ludwig Ho. Our next stop is Lauf. You notice that service come roaring by just as we were getting ready to leave. So um, I brought the view back just a little early so you can see that coming by. So 160s are speed limit. That's why I haven't moved the throttle away from level 6 right now. Unless we see something up ahead that tells me I should. Such as a stop. It is a green signal, so... We have a minute and a half to make our stop. I'm going to go ahead and work on 115, I think. We're getting close to 115. So let's work on that as our operative speed for hitting the brakes here. That should be enough, I would think. We're going to start hitting the brakes now. <clears throat> Pardon me. Moving up into the 70s. Another train. Those two are pretty close to each other, actually. I mean, by signals, they're allowed to do that because the ones moved ahead far enough by now, but I did not expect two that close to each other. So that's uh, very interesting. I'm coming down a little too slow now, so we're going to take the brakes right off. I did not mean to slow down that much yet. Ah, nice car going over the bridge there. So we're going to have to leave that brake on heavy until I get close to uh, zero here. In fact, I might overshoot the platform slightly. I think we're okay, though. I think I'm okay. We need to get the doors open, though, so I am keeping the brakes on heavy for a moment and easing them off as we finish our stop. Arrival at Loth, platform number one. Leaving Lof, our next stop is uh, Nunkirchen a Sand, platform number three. We're going to have a dip to uh, 130 kilometers per hour, back up to 140 kilometers per hour. We do have several kilometers to go, so let's take advantage of some of this speed, shall we? I mean, level six gets us up to 127. We know that much. I'm going to go ahead and idle it now because I see our station stop up ahead. That means we are going to be there in less than two minutes. Or in about two minutes. Which would actually make us a little early. So I need to put a heavy brake application on now if I'm going to do this in time. So here we go. That's actually not as heavy as I wanted it. It's okay, we're going to be early anyway. So I've eased the brakes off. Ignore that 2%. It doesn't really do much. I'll prove this by moving it to zero for a moment. We're still decreasing. So let's go ahead and put the brakes on now to bring it down just another level here.
I'm going to let the train keep going a little bit because we do have a lot of platform to work with. And as you can see, our arrival time isn't for... Oh, it is now. Well, I misread that. I actually thought we had till 36. Departure is 36. Whoopsie. Let's get those doors open. And doors are opened at Nunkirchen Asand. Living Nunkirchen Asand, there is a local branch line that's going to head off to the left. I'll show you the map in a little bit. I forgot last time, but I want to remember today to show you the map. Uh, and we're going to be going to our next stop at Reckensch Reckenschwand. We're due there in a little less than three minutes. We have four kilometers to go, so we need to bring this thing up to speed and uh, stop it from speed. As we go up in speed, let's bring up the uh, map just briefly to show you that branch line that's going off. Back here, you can see the branch line went up there and it heads towards Speckham. Speckham. I don't think that's the entire... Uh, like the line, there's a different station at the terminus of the line, so it does go a little bit further, I believe, than that. I'm going to go ahead and leave the throttle where it is right now, or at least the speed. Further look at the map, just to give you an idea how big the map is we're working with. Nuremberg is all the way over here. Bayreuth is all the way up here. That is the terminus of the route. And there are a couple lines that go from the Bayreuth area. There's one more thing I'll show you as I get to a certain point. So we do have, I believe, till 39 this time. I didn't misread that. No, I didn't. So I know what I'm working with this time. We're going to go ahead and apply a large... Whoa, not that large. Don't get to emergency brake territory, please. Ease that off a little bit. Down to the 80s now. And I'm going to go ahead and apply some brakes again now. That's too fast of an application. So bringing it off. I know where I want to be in terms of my braking. I'm getting into that area now. So applying some heavier brakes. Beauty. Enters the platform around 35, right where I wanted to be. We're just going to go ahead and keep cruising in at this 43% brake application. This is a big enough platform. I don't have to uh, hit the needle exactly here. Going to take advantage of my time here to come to a stop because I think I'm good for 15 right now. A little heavier application to get down at 15 seconds. Doors are open literally right on time at Reckenschwand. Or sorry, Reckenschwand. Leaving Rekeschwand, our next stop is Hersbrook. Or, yeah, I think it's Hersbrook, not Hensbrook. So we have leeway to go up to 140 again. We are still on the main line. There's We're about one or two stops away, I believe. In fact, I think this might be the last one. Yeah, we're going to turn onto the northern line, the one heading north after this next stop. So I will get to the point that I show you the map for that in just a second. 
There is a 110 coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and cap my speed for right now. That wasn't exactly where I wanted to cap it, but we'll take it. And that should do for my purposes. I might regret doing that. In any case, quick peek at the map. And I'll show you that the uh, line heading here over to uh, this next station we're going to. But after that, we get to a section where a line branches off going to Pummelsbrew. And I actually noted that in a tooltip on the last video. This is where the line branches off. We actually saw a train coming in at that junction on the last uh, scenario. So we're green. No uh, signal restrictions I can see. So that's what we saw in the last video anyway. Will it be there today? I don't know, but we can't take that line because it's a portal for us. So if we're going to replicate a service that takes that line, whatever might exist, then we're going to have to stop at this next station, Her Hersbrook, which would be our terminus, or start at the station as our origin point if we want to replicate those services. We have a minute and a half to make our stop according to the timetable. We're already down to uh, 100, even though our 110 is our limit. I should be breaking anyway, so that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, that is a little heavier break than I expected. Easing it off now. Still need to bring that speed down a little bit of a faster pace. I'm not quite where I want to be. I am getting there. I think we're good enough. We're about where I want, where I think I could be right now. I'm in a good spot. Entering at 35, which is what I like. And for those wondering, the last stop also validated my math. Notice I have exactly 600 points on my score. So yes, there are five extra points available in the scorekeeping on this scenario. If you have an emergency brake trigger on the uh, train because you're not used to it, the uh, brake handling here, don't worry about it. One, two points, big deal. You, ha you can do that twice and get away with it, possibly. I'm just going to go ahead and take advantage of a little bit more platform space here, and then I'm going to apply the brakes for a full stop here. Didn't go that quick down as quick as I thought, but we are still stopping at Hersbrook. We should be on time. Leaving Hersbrook, our next stop will be Hohenstadt. Hohenstadt is a fair distance away. We're getting to the point that we have some longer journeys, so we're going to have to pay attention to our speed limits now. 110 is our speed limit leaving the station. 130 is our speed limit coming up, and I believe the 140 is now permanently gone. We no longer have a 140 available. You can see we have a green signal. I don't think we're going to reach the 130 by the time we... Um, hit 110 so we're gonna reach 110 before we reach 130 actually it could be very close i'm gonna trim hold on there we go good enough okay let's make sure we don't break it so now we can go up to 130 but we're gonna have to probably drop it shortly anyway because when the pubbles brew line drops off i think our speed limit goes down to 120 maximum for the remainder of the line you can in fact see the 120 up ahead so i'm already gonna go ahead and trim my speed on a level five that'll give me i believe 115 as a speed limit and if I want to play with 120, I'll have to move it back and forth between 6 and 5. Similarly with the 110 limit, I'm going to have to limit to a 4, but I can move it back between 5 and 4 to get up to 110. And with 100, I'm good to go. <laughs> Let's not forget that one. So I can go ahead and punch it up to 120 again now. I've now punched it back to level 5 throttle as we move into the 120 in about 1.4 kilometers. I could have taken full advantage of the speed, but I didn't. We have 3 kilometers to go to our next stop. 
we also have two and a half minutes to make this stop. So I'm not going to worry so much. The platform is right there. And just to confirm, yeah, 1049. Two and a half minutes. So I am sufficiently happy with 115 right now. No, I don't think I noticed the line going off unless I missed it. This is the right or the left turn, I believe, coming up here. So it might still be coming up here. Oh, I must have missed it going off. I saw it in the last scenario, but I think I missed it this time. Oh, well. Line's already gone off. It was the line of pummels, Bruna, as I discussed already. Going to move this down to an idle setting. And we're going to... I said an idle, thank you. And we're going to apply a little bit of brakes. Trying to keep my speed above at a certain threshold above the distance from the platform. That will make sure I'm coming in at the exact speed I want to for the stop. My policy is within three, four tenths. So if I have a 70, I should be three tenths of a mile off the platform at most. And I can always increase it a little bit if I want to be within a, in a lower threshold. So if I want to be um, 60 at that, I can choose to do that. Depending on the train. This train can slow down nicely, so... It'll dep it also depends on platform size. I might have a different number in mind for certain platform sizes too. Right now we are coming down to a nice stop here. We do have a full 45 seconds to make our stop. So if I want to proceed to the end of the platform, I can certainly do that. And I think I'm going to try and do that. Because we're going to have to wait anyway. Let's take advantage of the time, right? Let's pull forward. Now we're going to apply the brakes again. And that should be good for the doors still open. So doors are open at Hohenstadt, platform number one. Leaving Hohenstadt, our next stop is Vora. And once I start getting up to speed where I want to be, I'm going to review the final four stops with you here. Actually, let's make sure I get myself to a proper uh, increase in speed here. And then I'll go ahead and I'll cap my speed so I don't exceed 120. In fact, I think level 5 might have been the 115, so I think that's where I want to cap. So I'll move it back to level 5 at this time. There we go. Let's review our stops. We have six kilometers away from us at Vora Platform 1. Have to be there in four minutes. Well, three and a half minutes. That's actually chance pushing it a little bit. Uh, here is, uh, how do you say this? Ruprechtegen, uh, which is 10.5 kilometers away from us. Then we go to Velden, which is another three after that. And finally, Newhouse, which is even three more. So this is one of the longest stretches of our journey today. And we're going to uh, definitely take advantage of the opportunity to get some speed here. Preferably without actually speeding. So notice I brought the uh, throttle back down as soon as I hit 119. It still went to 120. But fortunately, I didn't move to 121, which would have been speeding. It looks like I'm not able to stay in that range for very long, even doing that. So I think I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at 115. A little bit less chance doing it that way. Like if I do it again right now, and I see a sign coming up that says 110 anyway. So I'm going to want to drop this down anyway. So this allows for uh, me to notice and catch any uphill and downhill gradients as well. If I notice I'm having trouble for some reason uh, on a hill, I can increase my throttle. Though I don't think it's going to do much if you're having trouble anyway. Um, it's, this already is a beast on hills. From what I can tell, it speeds up fast. Uh, and uh, in terms of downhill gradients, it would give me a chance to apply a little bit of a brake application on the lower end. And just let the engine just do its job. Uh, the engine wouldn't even need to do its job at that point, I should say. It will let, let the brakes do a little bit of an application to uh, make sure I don't break the speed limit. And then I just keep going. When I need to put the engine on again, I put the engine on again. So 110 is coming up. I'm going to actually lower the throttle now because our stop is ahead anyway. 
We're still two kilometers away, but we have about two minutes to make our stop. Plenty of time. I should be under 110. I did not see any special signals telling me I have to hit the brakes here. So we're going to be continuing right into Vora. I will put a small brake application on to start bringing me down, but not too fast. That qualifies as too fast. So just a small one for right now. I'm going to increase it as I fall under the uh, number I'm looking for here, which is now a little bit faster. So a little more brakes. And we're going to keep increasing that brake threshold now. And that's a little too much. Okay. So I've seen complaints on the, um, on the uh, DLC page that one person who was complaining about the uh, DLC and gave, gave it a negative review saying that apparently there wasn't good effort made in certain areas. Uh, as to the scenery, I actually like the scenery. Having not been from Germany, not being from Germany myself, I actually like the scenery. It's, I get wanting everything to be perfect because that also makes everything stand out a lot more when it's perfect. But at the same time, there is a limit on what can be done in development costs. And I'm sure there will be things that can be added in a post-development patch, post-release patch that can be um, added. Scenery changes can be done at any time. Track changes cannot. So the main thing is if the track is accurate. And uh, I understand there is a lot of work that has been done to make sure this track is accurate. So I'm more concerned about the track layout in this case than anything else. And um, I'm happy that the effort was put forward to get the track layout correct. That's what I'm more interested in for scenario use and such. Anyway, we have arrived at Vora, platform number one. leaving Vora. Our next stop is Ruperstegen. Platform number two at Ruperstegen will be our stop. And you can see we are indeed in single line territory at this time. So if we're waiting for a train, well, we're waiting for a train. And if they're waiting for us, they're waiting for us. Really the best way to put that. There is a 100 limit coming up, so I'm going to go ahead and take the push to 110, but I can't let the speed go up to 115 for obvious reasons. That'll do. Little push here, and I'm just going to live with that. That's fine. It'll drop down to 100 by the time we need it at 100. We have three full minutes to make our stop. We're also in the tunnel portion of the route now. So all those tunnels I added as tooltips in the uh, previous scenario. I've added, I shouldn't say tooltips, but as subtitle text. I added the information on those tunnels in the last video. I don't have it on hand with me today, but uh, I will try and get it for you in the future because we're going to be in this area a lot. I want to have a list of the tunnels from beginning to end just on hand so I can refer to them. So I will do that in the future. I just don't have it ready with me today. But they're all very short tunnels. I think the longest tunnel was 300 and something, and the shortest one was something like 80 meters. So, yeah, the tunnels are um, not large. They're just used in places to where it would be inconvenient to have to go around uh, and or use a level crossing, like raise the... Um, whatever your case may be, to have to avoid certain... modifying land to the point where it's super expensive and it was cheaper to tunnel. So I like the way the tunnels are used on this route. They're not really long tunnels that bore through an entire landscape for a long range. They're just little, small, minimalistic tunnels, which I like. I like that kind of tunnel. I also like that this train has a set speed that it holds to. This is a neat little thing. I'm noticing this. I should say I noticed this by the time I first, first got up to these speeds. I'm actually liking this. I actually did do a couple restarts on this because I had to get used to how this train worked. 
So once I got used to how this train worked, it has not been a problem. I've been sailing ever since then. So this is another case of a train you need to get used to operating, get used to how it, set, how it is set to run. And once you have it figured out, you're good to go. I should have been braking before now. I didn't. That's my fault. Wow, this is a... Um, I have headlights on. This should not be so dark. Now, I think there's a bit of an issue with the um, edges of the tunnels as you come to the entrance where you see a little bit of light on the tunnel. So I don't think it's fully... Um, sculpted so to speak that is one error i do see on a lot of these tunnels i don't i haven't seen coming from the other direction yet but i will look at those too in the other direction we'll see how they are sculpted but coming in this direction at least they're not fully sculpted where you can see the edge of the tunnel coming out maybe they're like that in real life i don't know if they are so be it that's what we want to see but uh if they need to be smoothed out then hopefully they get smoothed out i just don't think they're going to be at this point Maybe it's not possible to. That's just like a little thing that we have to accept. So using a heavier brake now to come to a stop. I don't need to use the entire platform and I'm not going to. I'm going to let that last second go. We're right on time at Ruprechtegen. Leaving Ruprechtegen, our next stop is Velden. This is our penultimate stop on the journey today. That la that train you saw going by, it, the uh, movie still, as I'm going to call it. That was the last AI train in this scenario, so we're not going to see any additional trains at this point in the uh, route that we're taking. Uh, that was a service from Hoff and Cheb, so I'm assuming that was, again, combined trains from Hoff and Cheb. Uh, heading south, and that was an RE30 and RE33 service, so clearly going to Nuremberg. So we are getting our 120 speed limit again. That means the level 5 is perfect, uh, especially because we have a stop up ahead anyway. We might not even need to go up to the full speed. Yeah, we have two minutes to go two kilometers. This will not be an issue. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. Well, you know what? Let's just idle it right now. We're at a high enough speed. Once again, I will momentarily apply a minimal brake application, but now I have a better idea what a minimal brake application is, so <laughs> I've been playing with this enough that I have a bit of an idea, and I should be good for this by the time we get to the route using this train. Yeah, actually, I should have been doing it before now, so I need to put a stronger one now. Yeah, I might not have, that might not even be enough brakes. Yeah, I'm going to be... Uh, I can still do this no problem. I just don't want to go to the heavy brakes if I don't have to. I like this bridge, by the way, with the cars coming down on the road. That was very nicely done. I like this area. And yeah, heavy brake time. Coming in way too fast at this point. So I'm bringing it down in range now. I'm going to ease the brakes off. And I'm still gonna coming in too fast. Okay, now I'm around the right spot. I don't remember. I think it's actually a little further ahead in the route, not in our journey today. I know there's a second platform where the uh, where there's a uh, but that particular platform has an area of platform that is no longer in use and is shown as part of the platform. That's an error that I um, think needs to be pointed out. But it, it, I'm a little worried at this point that that would possibly break any scenario, so I don't think they're going to be able to um, do that without breaking something, unfortunately. So I think we're just going to have extra platform on that particular uh, 
station stop a little further ahead. I forget what it is, but you saw in the last scenario, one of our six stops last time. Arrival at Velden, platform number two. Leaving Velden, our next and final stop is Newhouse. We are finally at the end of our journey today. Well, not yet, but we're almost there. Let's get this past the 23 threshold, and then I can go ahead and I can start capping the speed limit. There we go. 100 is going to be our speed limit, so I'm capping it at level 4. I'm going to actually stop it at 3 a little earlier. Two and a half minutes to go three kilometers. We are at the kilometer per minute phase right now. So we need to get a little faster than that, which we're now at 80. Oh, wait, there's a huge drop up ahead. Let's not overdo this. That huge drop to 50 up ahead. I have to keep that in mind. So I need to slow down by two kilometers from now. So I don't feel being all the way at 100 was a safe idea here, and that's why I have not done that. Hopefully the signals don't tell us to go 40. Signals might be telling us to go 40. This last stop might be a little challenging, guys. I have a feeling I'm not going to do this one right. Let's find out. We got a minute. We have a few seconds after the uh, minute as well. And we are within a kilometer, so we are still potentially able to get away with this. I might want to be down at 40 by that signal anyway, because I'm going to have to come to a stop up ahead. So it is 100 all the way up to this signal. That is good to know. 100 is limit all the way to this signal and all the way to the speed change to 50. Can I bring it down to 40 just in case? I'm not sure which speed is in effect. Nope, it's 50. Okay, good to know. It is 40. Oh, I guessed correctly. I read the signal correctly. Let's get this train stopped in the platform as soon as I'm able to, and let's hope that I'm on time for this stop. So start hitting the brakes. Heavy brake application right now. Wherever I end up, I stop. A little bit off so I can get in the platform all the way. And I am good. Let's get this thing stopped quickly, please. Arrival at Newhouse. We're going to find out how we did. We're at platform number three. We should be good. I came in a little tentatively for that last stop. So there is a potential to lose my perfect score on this. Either way, I did put up down a save game. Because when I get this far in a scenario, I want to make sure I have a close spot to resume from. So I can still get it anyway if I miss it. You are walking a little bit on the... Uh, Okay, you guys are not... Okay, I'm here because you guys shouldn't be walking at this spot. Oh, well, they're walking through me. Anyway, well done, driver. That was a great run through the valley to Newhouse. This service will be returning to Nuremberg HBF in a short while, so no time to rest today. I guess I'm driving the return trip. Well, not in this scenario, I'm not. So let's see if I pulled out the perfect score here. Obviously, I hide it on purpose to leave the suspense, and today we are going to have a little suspense. Let's see what happened here as I finish the scenario. I did it. I knew I was okay, but I was, man, that was close. Uh, I was considered on time. I could have taken being one or two seconds late, so I figured I was okay, but I was marked on time, so we're going to take that. 
That's a lot of stops. And as you can see, um, those emergency break points, they didn't affect me because I still got the 65 at the last stop. I would have only gotten 62 if I'd had a perfect run anyway. So uh, we can take those emergency break penalties in this situation where there's more points available. Just a few in that case. And a minor penalty can uh, be okay in this kind of situation. So we have uh, unlocked the objective appreciating the valley. I like that the achievements are working on this one. I hope that the team went back and got the Huddersfield achievements working. Because now I want to go back and claim all those achievements. I have the save game still in place. So I want to go back and claim all of those achievements now without having to run the whole scenarios again. But maybe I will have to run them off camera and I'll have to claim those achievements again. So we'll see what happens with that. I haven't seen anyone reporting that they received the um, achievement for completing all scenarios recently. So they might have fixed those. I'll report back on that in the future if I find out. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and keep unlocking all the achievements on this new route. Uh, and I have one more to do right now. That uh, third scenario will be the one I'm looking at tomorrow. And that will, or not tomorrow, sorry, tomorrow is, is uh, Sunday. I'm not doing a video on Sunday. That video will be a Tuesday video. Uh, now, I am going to acknowledge that as of right now, I have not taped that video yet. And I am looking at uh, potentially being gone until um, until Monday. My intention is to be home on Monday to at least edit the video. And if I can tape it tonight, I'll tape it tonight as well before I leave so I can edit it and have it up for Tuesday. However, there is a possibility that I may, there may be some changes to things happening that I don't have full control over. And if that does occur, then I'm gonna be looking at possibly having to delay the video until Wednesday simply because I might not be here on Tuesday or on Monday night to, in either case, do the editing. I might not be able to do the editing until Tuesday. So if I don't get the video out on Tuesday, Keep an eye for it on Wednesday. I will get the third scenario video out and then we will move into some additional content. I do think it might be time to go to some pre-record content uh, that I've already made for another route. And I haven't decided for sure if I'm going to do that yet. Uh, either way, I have to edit those videos too if I do that. So in any case, I don't know yet what I'm going to do next week. I'm not going to be staying with this through the entire two weeks like I usually do. But I am going to definitely come back to finish these scenarios, I might actually pre-record them because they are longer scenarios. I might pre-record these and then just edit them in between doing my other videos. So that way I can get them all up for you and uh, get them all up in a reasonable amount of time. I also wanna see if I can get you the uh, video with any updates they make in the next month. So if any updates are made to the route, I can point out what some of those updates are in that video. Next route though is Bay Ruth back to Nuremberg. We're gonna go in the other direction compared to last time and we're gonna see what the route looks like in reverse, so to speak. Uh, so stay tuned for that next time. In the meantime, I am Cycle. Have a wonderful day, evening, or night. Whatever it is for you or part of the video, like the video, subscribe to the channel. It is free. Uh, you can do that. And uh, I will see you next time. And you hit the bell, obviously. I'll see you next time for more Let's Play Train Simulator Classic. And uh, another route from Bay another journey from Bay Ruth. Looking forward to it. Another 612 drive. We're going to have fun with it. See you next time. Bye-bye.